peace, infinite waters, diving deep once again. Here we are, in nature, sexology, water, fire, hot, cold, yin, yang. We're back for another episode. This is the love hour, or the love couple of minutes here on YouTube. A broader concept of marriage. I think so many of us, we have these, this notion of this dream marriage. And I think, I think women have it even more so just from these fairy tales like Cinderella and um, what's the other one? <laughs> and I'm just seeing how also men, we also have this desire to be connected to a woman to say, okay, she's my wife. And it's just this great feeling we all have to be married. How long do marriages last these days? Well, if you go to Las Vegas, maybe a couple of hours, it depends where you are. And the divorce rate is so high in so many marriages. And do we ever question why? And for me, when I'm going through this, I'm just seeing that there is a broader concept to marriage. And I just feel that really and truly marriage is not just a piece of paper. Marriage is not just a document. Marriage is so much deeper than that. And really and truly marriage is when the water, yin essence of the woman connects truly with the yang fire essence of the man. That is true marriage. And really and truly you can get divorced. And that's what happens in a lot of times where people just have that. You, you meet someone and you, your mind tells you that, okay, I really like this person. You're married for a little while and then you just get divorced. So really and truly, there wasn't really a real union there. And that's why it's just amazing. I'm just realizing more and more that the concept of marriage, especially in this 3D reality has become skewed. In fact, it's become contaminated. And I feel a lot of us, we're thinking that we could just meet someone. I was like that. I used to think I could just meet someone and not even work on myself, not even work on the divine masculine principle. And I just thought, okay, the person I'm gonna meet, this woman I'm gonna meet is really gonna give everything to me. And that's it. A lot of times in relationships, it's just take, take, and take again. It's never about giving or a reciprocal relationship. And for me, that's what the broader concept of marriage it doesn't have to take place in the institution. In fact, it's really when two people are coming together on the same frequency and really people who are seeing themselves as spiritual beings who really transcend this 3D material world in essence, because that's the only way marriage can last, true marriage, which is on a higher plane. Because this 3D marriage, a lot of the times is built on possession. And that's the thing when a lot of people who have really connected with someone else, it's not even, you want that person to be free. Because that's what happens when people truly are connected to them. You can't lose someone. <laughs> a lot of us, we have this notion if we, oh, I really like this woman. Oh, I really like this man. And you say, okay, I don't want to lose him. Uh, let me check his phone to see who he's texting. Let me check his Facebook. Because we're afraid we're going to lose somebody. But you can only lose what doesn't belong to you. And in essence, that's where the twin flame comes in. That's where twin... People who are really, when you meet someone who really, you're not even afraid if that person just disappears the next day because you know what you've shared is so powerful and it really transcends everything here. This is a broader concept of marriage. Infinite waters diving deep. Stay creating. Sexual energy is creative energy. Peace.